Hello everyone and welcome to yet another channel update. I actually have been meaning to do this a little bit more regularly. I, I mentioned I wanted to do that last time I did a channel update, but March was, well, hectic, both channel-wise and life-wise, and never really get around to it. And now that we're, well, mostly through April, I figured now would be a good time. So where to begin? Let's, uh, I guess start with Final Fantasy XV. Uh, we finished the main story. We're in post-game territory. I'm not sure how much more of the post-game there is for me to do. Well, okay, to be fair, I actually didn't start the post-game stuff yet. I know there's like three post-game dungeons. I don't really know what else there is. I'm not really aiming the 100% Final Fantasy 15. I don't even think I can at this point, but um, I do want to do some of the post-game dungeons or all of the post-game dungeons. Uh, we are finishing up Coastal Mark Tower, which isn't a post-game dungeon, but it's... Oh, God, is it awful. Um, well, at least the ending of it is. <sighs> yeah, uh, what comes after Final Fantasy XV? Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll talk about that in a, in a minute. Uh, Tales of Berseria. Tales of Berseria is going strong. Uh, we're, I'm currently grinding up a few levels. Hopefully, I'll have an episode out tomorrow, but that lies upon me getting home today and having time to record but we'll see uh, I don't think I'll be able to get all the levels that I wanted to they're probably gonna probably gonna be like 18 19 before we continue on gaining experience is relatively slow in the game um, but hopefully those few levels help we've mastered some gear but of course the way the gear is in that game you're not always gonna be upgrading to something better even if it is like newer but um, it's going good. Really enjoying Berseria. Uh, the combat's more fluid, I feel, than Zestaria. The storyline's right up my alley. You're not exactly a good guy, though you're doing good things from time to time, but you're not exactly a good guy. And I, I, I like stories like that. What else? Well, I mean, I guess I can talk about Neo. Uh, Neo hasn't been on the channel for a little bit. Uh, not since the beginning of April. Uh, well, there's really, I was going to say there's a multitude of reasons. There's really only one reason. Um, and it's kind of the, the reason March was an awful month. And it was a cluster of getting things done in life and for the channel. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think I mentioned it in the last Neo episode that I, I kind of forced myself to record the last two ones. Uh, one and a two and a half. I forget how many I <laughs> kind of pushed through. Um, don't get me wrong when I say this, but I, I actually really enjoy Neo as a game. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you, re you you know or you saw me post about uh, how I, I one of my cats passed away last month in March. Uh, Void. Very, very awesome cat. Um, sadly... When he passed away, it was when I was recording Neo, and it was like, like he, uh, I don't really want to go into it, but he had some sort of, I guess you can say, like, heart attack um, in front of me, and passed away in my arms when I was trying to, you know, get him to the vet. Um, sadly, that has kind of... <laughs> kind of stuck with me for uh, a little longer than I would have liked. Um, I'm actually going to be rearranging my room to <laughs> kind of, so I don't have to face that area uh, where it happened because um, I don't, I don't like sitting here anymore at this desk because I, it just it kind of, it, it leaves a mark. Let's just say that. Um, and that's my main reason why I haven't been playing Neo because every time I've sat down to record it, I just think about it. Um, and I can't record something if I'm not enjoying it. Sadly, I don't have that talent. I'm not an actor. Um, I can't really push that sort of stuff behind or to the side and it pretend that I'm enjoying something and when I'm not. Uh, Neo is a great game. <laughs> And I want to make that clear. And I don't want to say that I'm never going to finish it. Um, I just can't right now. 
if that makes sense. I might be a little bit too sensitive, which is fine. Uh, I have no problem being sensitive, as it's me and I have to deal with it. <laughs> so, it's, it's one of those things that I'm gonna have to, like, just deal with. And hopefully in the future, we can come back to Neo. Again, like I was saying, great game. Neo is a great game. And trust me when I say this, I wish this never happened. <laughs> I definitely wish this never happened. But, um, you know, that's life. Especially when you get older. Especially when you get older, yeah. It's, it's just constant. <laughs> and on that happy note, right? I actually was going to save that to the end, but since I'm talking about main series and time slots, uh, I figured I'd just get it out of the way. Kind of a bummer. But, you know, it's part of being alive. <laughs> you have to you have to deal with this sort of stuff from time to time. But anyways, on to other happier notes, I hope. Um, next week, we're going to return to the alternating schedule for the 12 p.m. slot. And Bayonetta 2 is going to be joining the fray. I've actually been wanting to play that for a little bit while. Figured since we have an open slot now, might as well throw in Bayonetta 2 while we're doing the post-game stuff for Final Fantasy 15. For the 12 p.m. slot, since it's alternating, I want to keep it that way. I actually really like the alternating schedule for the 12 p.m. slot. Um, I want to pretty much restrict that to smaller games. I know we've been playing JRPGs and both in that slot and, and whatnot. And those games tend to be really, really long. But I think for the 12 p.m. slot, a game like Bayonetta, which from what I can see from howlongtobeat.com, it is only about 10 hours. That's pretty good. It shouldn't take too long with an alternating schedule. Um, Final Fantasy 15 is going to stay there because it's already there. And there's not much left for Final Fantasy 15 other than the post-game stuff, and that shouldn't take too much longer, I would imagine. Um, but we'll see. What comes after Final Fantasy 15 in the whole PM slot? I don't know yet. Um, all the games I have on my list, aside from like a handful that were actually suggested to me, and I don't want to do like I don't want to do super long games in that 12 p.m. slots because if they're alternating, they take they take forever. Especially when I'm only uploading like five days a week for those series. It's it takes it takes a while, so I want to keep them to the short games. Now, next long game I want to play will come after Tales of Berseria, and I want to play Legend of the Heroes, the Trails in the Sky. Um, I've been wanting to play that for a while. Just every time I've gone, I've had it on the list, like, this is next. I'm like, oh, wait, this new game comes out, and, and like, Legend of the Heroes is kind of an old game at this point, so I can wait a little bit longer. And that just kept going until we're here. We're actually a year after I wanted to play it. It's I'm, I'm, I'm like set on After Burst Area, Legend of the Heroes, Trails in the Sky. That's after. It's an older game. Not sure how well it's going to be received. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine, baby. We'll, we'll, we'll work through it. I promise. For some of the old retro game walkthroughs that I've done in the past, I'm re I started recording sweep it in only got like two episodes done that's not going to be uploaded for a little bit of time but uh i have started recording it once i'm pretty far in and i'm like okay i can keep up the uploading i'm gonna be i'm gonna start releasing that and we'll get back to the walkthrough i know some people have been missing the walkthrough and the silly voices that i've done in the past so we'll, we'll do that that's coming don't know when hopefully next month but we'll see that I'll, uh, I mean, I said that last time at a channel update. But again, March sucked. Hardcore. Um, well, we won't talk about that anymore. Streaming. I've uh, started streaming Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You can find that over at twitch.tv slash chronosplays. Yes, I have finally have figured out a little time slot for me to actually stream and not be completely tired and not only have to limit myself to like an hour. Uh, I've been streaming the Dark Souls 3 DLC recently. 
I we're, we're pretty much done with the Dark Souls 3 DLC. We, we finished the main meat and potatoes of it last week. There's an optional boss fight. I don't know how long that's going to take me to beat. He's kind of a dick, but hopefully we'll be able to beat him. I... <laughs> Say hopefully, because I don't know how long I'm going to sit down and just keep throwing myself at it until uh, I give up. But we only fought him like three or four times last week, and I was like, yeah, we'll come back to this when I'm done. Um, but yeah, I'm streaming Fridays at 8 p.m. That's kind of like the set time, though it's not always guaranteed. Sometimes I will have like trips that I have to go on to visit family, even work, um, that will disrupt that schedule. But, for the most part, it's been pretty consistent this month, which is great, because I like streaming. I like I like when people come out and uh, you chat with me, talk about the game I'm playing, even just talk about the game I'm playing on YouTube. Um, but yeah, if you want, head on over to twitch.tv slash chronosplays and follow me. Uh, hit the follow button, get notified when I go live. I'll always be uploading a video on YouTube when I go live, so there's a chance you might see it there. Um, but YouTube's kind of iffy on posting notifications or just pushing it to sub boxes sometimes. So it's not always guaranteed you'll get the video while I'm still streaming. Um, after Dark Souls 3 DLC, I don't know what we'll be streaming. I have a couple of ideas. Uh, Stardew Valley might be a good stream. Final Fantasy 14 Realm Reborn, I might try that again. I was thinking maybe you know, New Vegas might be a good game to play. Do like a one intellect character. I've, I've beaten New Vegas before, but who says I can't stream games that I've already beaten? You know, we could do a Dark Souls playthrough. We could even try playing like Fallout 4, trying to beat that on stream. I don't know. Give me suggestions of what of what would be a good stream. I don't, I'm, I'm new to that. I'm completely new to streaming. Like, I've, I've done it for Extra Life and on and off through the years, but I've never really had a schedule, so I don't really know. Uh, what's good streaming material? Uh, as for streaming, I, I do I I will be uploading the vods to YouTube. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the same episodic format as like the Dark Souls stuff, or if I'm gonna do it in like longer chunks, or even just the full video. I like the episodic one because it's only 30 minutes, and people are generally accustomed to watching 30 minutes of content in a video, for the most part. One of the Dark Souls ones is going to be like 50 minutes coming up. Just, just for a warning. Um, the boss is kind of an ass. <laughs> but, uh, I think I think the episodic content works, especially on YouTube. But, you know, let me know your opinions. Do you want chunks? Do you want episodic? Do you want, like, just one massive three-hour video? Uh, I'm going to assume no on that one, but you never know. Also, give me suggestions. Yeah, like I was saying, give me suggestions on what to stream. I'm always up for suggestions or what the Let's Play in the future. That's good, too. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. But if you do, let me know in the comments below. I'm all up for ideas and suggestions, like always. And, yeah, thanks for listening, and I hope you all have a great day.